Hello everyone and welcome to another Wet News Wednesday. I'm Catelyn. Let's get into the news. 147 students were brutally murdered this week. What? You didn't hear about it? Seriously? 147 people were murdered and you didn't hear about it? That's probably because it happened in Kenya and third world tragedies just aren't first world problems. Unlike Senator Menendez's three girlfriends, which is in fact front page news. The Russians did more than stew beets and take epic tinder pics this week. That's right, they hacked the White House. I'm sorry, what? They hacked the who? What? The, the White House. They hacked the White House. I just got my tax breakdown today and I only have one quote. Where are you taking my money and what are you doing with it? Because apparently the billions the Defense Department is getting has nothing to do with defending our internet. White House, get your ish together. It's Russia. Russia. Really? Russia got in? You let Russia get in. Lame. Speaking of scandal in Russia, comedian John Oliver went to Russia this week to interview Edward Snowden. What is this? First Conan goes to Cuba, now John Oliver's going to Russia. You keep whining about how true journalism is dead and I've found your answer. It is, because all the comedians are the only ones with the balls to go after the real stories. Come on, you want to talk about personal risk? Poor Conan's probably got stage 32 skin cancer after that jaunt in the Caribbean. And John Oliver... John Oliver is wearing all of his clothes and he is in Russia, which means he is in danger. But really back to the root of the story. What Snowden revealed is that the government does in fact have your dick pic. I'm sorry. Forever. They have it. That's why I always tell you, don't put your face in your nudes. YouTube has come under fire this week. No, not for allowing me on the air, but for their children's app, which does not feature advertisements. What? But how are you going to brainwash the youth of America? YouTube responded to criticism by saying that great content shouldn't just be for families who can afford it. My God, what is happening to this country? Gay people suck. It's something that Jesus Christ never said. Easter took place over the weekend, and I'd just like to say this. Just because Jesus Christ died and was resurrected for your sins, doesn't mean he isn't face-palming himself and all the stupid crap that you're saying in his name. Leave your hatred out of it, bro. Love thy neighbor has only one exception, and that's on the G train. Don McLean's manuscript containing the lyrics for the 1960s hit American Pie sold at auction today for $1.2 million. What does that mean? Obscurity pays. Plus, you're not a sellout if you're over 65, okay? It's just paying off the condo in Boca. Furious 7 raced into the box office this weekend. See what I did there? And raked in over $146 million and also made people shed a few tears in their memorial to the late, great Paul Walker. This isn't surprising. The Bachelor's been doing this forever. Adrenaline-filled sequence plus heartfelt story equals, say it with me, audience manipulation. It's a little bit more moving because he actually died, but you get what I'm saying here? shouldn't be surprised. Duke won the NCAA tournament earlier this week, which is something to which I can only respond with this. Ugh. I hate Duke. Actor, 
comedian and all-around awesome dude, Chris Rock was pulled over for the umpteenth time, and uh, why was he pulled over, you might ask? Because he was driving, and he was black. Hashtag driving while black. Um, this is a problem, and I have a problem with it, and I'm not the only one. Everyone's favorite disgruntled grumpy has been Isaiah Washington advised Chris Rock to ditch the Mercedes and buy a couple Priuses instead. First of all, Isaiah, here's a math question for you. There are two drivers. One is in a Mercedes, one is in a Prius. Both are black. One of these cars is stolen. Which one is it? The Prius! Do I really think that you're gonna steal a Mercedes when you're up to no good? No, you're clever and you're gonna choose the energy efficient model so that your chase to Canada can get you there without needing to stop for gas. Also, if you work hard for it, it's yours. Buy a spaceship if you want to. No one should be pulled over unless they're doing something bad. And Chris Rock, Pretty flawless. Yeah, quote me on it. I love the man. I also just chugged a whole bunch of wine, so I love you too. But Chris Rock's awesome. Finally tonight, some of you may be asking yourselves, why Catelyn? Why is your, does your hair remind me of something? Does it? Does my hair remind you of something? Does my reckless wine drinking remind you of something? It should because Game of Thrones is back on this Sunday. And you know what else? HBO's streaming service is currently being offered for free. I'm sure it's probably going to go away like a minute and a half before the Game of Thrones premiere. But either way, HBO, you're awesome. A thank you. And in the words of Cersei, more wine. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you want to see me do more reckless wine drinking. That's an inside thing that you want to get in on. Um, yeah, check back every Wednesday for news and every Sunday for the romance. Uh, always remember, if you can't make good decisions, make safe ones and have a great rest of your week.